everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jacqueline I make new videos every week a whole variety of things lifestyle beauty adventure all sorts of fun stuff and I upload every Monday Wednesday and Saturday here about just sniffing my dog is going crazy Tahoe could you please lay down this is Tahoe in case anyone's curious that's what the sniffing is about and we're on my ground today on my floor because I have empties and I have a ton of them. So it's just easier to kind of spread them out on the floor for you guys. So it's gonna be a really casual video. I love filming empties. They're some of my favorite videos to watch, some of my favorite videos to make, and I have a ton. I do these every like three months or so. I have a feeling I should start doing them a little bit more often than that. But anyway, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with my skincare and then I have some body care and hair care and I have a couple things of makeup and some random stuff. So I'll leave timestamps to like each category down below. So if you're just curious about say my skincare empties, you can skip right to that timestamp. So let's just hop right in and start with the skincare. Okay, I'm just gonna pull out things randomly. I'll try to save all the sheet masks together, but let's just start right here with one of my favorites, the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I get the big tub because I love it. I use this just on my face. I don't use it on my body, which you can use it on your body. I just have super dry skin, so my face needs a really good, rich cream. And this one's great, super inexpensive. I think this big tub is $15, I think. I know it's under 20 bucks for this huge tub. And if you're just using it on your face, this will last you a really long time. Um, and if you have really dry skin, it's a good one. It's not comedogenic, fragrance-free, it has hyaluronic acid, it has their ceramides. It's just a really good face cream. I use it morning and night. I just get a little dollop, put it all over my face, and I love it. So this is one of my staples. I always have a jar of this near my sink. Um, I have a couple face washes. Let me make sure I don't have more than one of the same bottle. I don't think I do. So I have two different face washes. They're both absolute favorites. The first one is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Again, super dry skin. This cleanser is super gentle. It works really well to clear any dirt off my skin. I don't use it as a makeup remover. I do double cleanse. So this would be my second step. And I just love that this is so gentle, so hydrating. My skin doesn't feel like tight or dry after I use it. Again, not comedogenic, has the hyaluronic acid, the ceramides, all of that stuff. Um, and it's great if you have dry skin. Even if you don't have dry skin, this is just a really good facial cleanser. And I just really enjoy using it. The other one I get when I can't find that one, that one's like weirdly hard to find around me. Why, I don't know. But the other one I love to get and I'm currently using right now is the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser in the Creamy Formula. So I know they make another ultra gentle cleanser and I think it's a foaming one and that's meant for more like oily skin. This one's meant for drier skin. And again, just like the CeraVe one, super gentle, gets all the dirt and grime off your face without stripping it. Um, it's fragrance-free, soap-free, dye-free, paraben-free, hyperallergenic, and non-comedogenic. And it's just a really good cleanser. I think these are about the same price point. Um, and they both work really well, honestly. They're really similar and I just use them interchangeably and don't really know a difference. And I just really like them, so I will always reach for one of these two. They're super inexpensive, they work really well, they're easy to find, and I just know they're not gonna irritate my skin or dry my skin out, so these two I always reach for. I always have one of these with me. So one of the first steps cleansers that I used up and I did not like, but I used it up because I bought it, was the Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil. So this worked really well, don't get me wrong. It worked really well. It took off all my makeup, all my sunscreen. Um, I would just use a couple pumps at night to, you know, as my first cleanse. It emulsified really well. Um, didn't have a funny smell, I think. The thing I hated about this was it stung my eyes. I don't know what was in here that my eyes would just burn after I used it. And I did not like that. It's so annoying. I've used so many other cleansing oils that this just wasn't one of my favorites because of that. None of the other cleansing oils I've used have made my eyes burn like that. Um, so unfortunately this was not my favorite. I did use it up because like I said, I had it and I didn't want to be wasteful, but I would not recommend this. I would not use it again. I would not purchase it again, especially for the price point. It was a little bit expensive for like, I consider Burt Bees like drugstore, but they're kind of like on the higher end of drugstore. And 
it was just a little expensive for what it is. So definitely not my favorite and will not be repurchasing that. Something I already have a second tub of. I'm actually almost done with my second tub, but I think I'm going to try something else after my second tub, if that makes sense, is the Peter Thomas Roth Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. So I love this mask. It's amazing. It works really well. I noticed a huge difference with my acne when I started using this. It doesn't smell great because it's got sulfur in it, but it works really well. It's super gentle. It doesn't make my skin dry or feel like irritated or anything like that. The aloe in here really helps kind of offset that dryness from the sulfur and the bentonite clay and the cowan clay and all that. And so I really, really enjoy it. You can see I kind of, oops, I like scraped this bad boy clean. Like I scraped him clean. Um, and I really enjoy using it. Like I said, I'm almost done with my second tub, but it is super expensive. It's like $52 for the jar. It does last me a while um, because I only use it like, two to three times a week. But if you're using it more than that, you'd probably go through it pretty quickly. It does recommend two to three times per week. So I'm, I was on the search for a replacement. I think I found one. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'll let you know if I found kind of a dupe for this. But I do love this. I do recommend this. And um, if my dupe doesn't work out, I'll probably go back to this one. It's really good. Something I love, and I already have a second bottle of, I've kind of like downshifted how much I use it though, is the CosRx Advanced Snail 96 Mucent Power Essence. So I used to use this every morning and night, and now that I've kind of incorporated a few other active ingredients into my skincare routine, I've kind of put this on the back shelf a little bit. I just don't use it quite as often. I definitely don't use it in the morning anymore. Um, and I just use it at night, every couple nights. Um, I still love this stuff. I still think it's great. I was just getting too many things on my skin at once. I just needed to like have a break from something. And this is one of the things I decided to take a semi break from. Like I said, I'm still using it. I still love it. I still highly recommend it. It's amazing for moisturizing. Um, it's amazing to help brighten your skin, all that stuff. It is really good. I just, I have other things I'm trying to work through and kind of see what they do to my skin. So um, I do have another bottle and I probably would repurchase if I ran out, but it's definitely not like at the top of my list right now. Another thing I kind of phased out of my um, skincare for right now, I might go back to it eventually and maybe in a different form, is the Ordinary Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. So I love this stuff. I have a whole video on it. It's amazing. It works really well, again, to clear up your acne, help with any red spots, stuff like that. But I think with all my other skincare, this was just a little bit too thick for me now. And I was clogging some of my pores like back here, like along the side of my face. I was getting like these bumps. Um, and I think it was this because when I stopped using it, it kind of all went away. Um, and I've heard some people say that over time, this can clog your pores and it's just like the silicone suspension is too much for some people. And I think at first this worked so well for me because I wasn't using as many other things. And now that I'm using other things, this is starting to like clog my pores a little bit. So if I go back to azelaic acid, I'd probably try a different form because I do love azelaic acid. Um, but yeah, this is just not the one for me currently. It is really good. I still recommend this. It's just not for me right this moment. Um, another thing I've replaced in my skincare is my beloved Mad Hippie. So I've used up my whole Mad Hippie vitamin C serum. Um, this stuff is amazing. Highly, highly recommend if you're looking for a good vitamin C serum that does not irritate your skin or anything like that. This is a really good one. But I replaced it because I'm curious about other ones. So I'm trying a new one right now and I'm loving the new one. It's a little bit cheaper, but I do highly recommend this one if you're looking for a good vitamin C and you have more sensitive acne prone skin and dry skin as well because this has um, hyaluronic acid in it. It's a really good one. I still highly recommend this. Oh, I had two of the azelaic acid suspensions, just so you know, I used up two. Um, so I have a sunscreen. I went through the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen Zinc Oxide Broad Spectrum SPF 32. <sighs> this stuff is amazing. I love this stuff. The tint in here isn't super pigmented. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, the tint in there is mostly just to offset the white cast. I don't even see the tint on my skin. I don't know if you had much darker skin, if it would make you look ashy still, but it definitely helps to kind of get that white cast to go away. Um, and I really enjoy this one. I do have to be careful with what I put on before and making sure I wait long enough 
after whatever I put on first because sometimes this can pill up if I don't wait for everything to absorb. But it's a really good sunscreen. I love that it's all a mineral sunscreen. I love mineral sunscreens. Um, and it's a really good one. I have a second tube in my bathroom right now. Um, and I really enjoy this sunscreen. Something I'm just finally getting rid of, and it's probably super old and probably a great time for me to get rid of it. I have this little sample size of the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. Honestly, I don't have that strong of an opinion on this. It was fine. My skin felt good after it. Didn't make me break out. Was it life-changing? No. I would probably not buy a full size of it. It was a good sample to try and kind of, I used it when we traveled sometimes, but other than that, I just don't really have an opinion on it. Um, okay, we're almost through the skincare. And then I have some face masks. So I have a couple more ordinary things. The first thing I have from the ordinary is their 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. So I love rosehip seed oil. I already have a backup of this. Um, I've talked about before that I used to just order rosehip seed oil from Amazon. And I kind of decided to move away from that because I was like nervous. I wasn't getting, you know, just rosehip oil. I didn't know what I was putting on my skin. So I decided to pick up The Ordinary and it's amazing. I love that I know exactly what's in it. It works really well. If you love rosehip oil, this is a good one. It's affordable um, and I just really enjoy the rosehip oil. Um, another thing from The Ordinary that I love, I already have a second bottle. Um, I did a whole 30 day skincare test on this, is the Ordinary Alpha Arbutin 2% plus HA. This stuff is amazing. Go watch that video to see my before and afters after just 30 days. It worked really well. I'm not using it twice a day anymore. Like I said before, I'm just trying other actives. So it was just too much to do AM and PM for me. So I'm just using this in the AM now, but I'm still seeing great results. I am still loving it. Highly recommend Alpha Arbutin, especially the Ordinary one. I haven't tried any other ones, but this one's a really good one if you're like looking to get your foot into Alpha Arbutin. It's a good one to try because it's not that expensive kind of feel that way about all the ordinary products it's somewhere for me to like test out an ingredient to see how my skin reacts and then I can kind of go from there but this one is a really good one and I do recommend it something I kind of like kind of didn't like probably would not repurchase um was the Coco Kind resurfacing sleep mask so this has Bakuchi on it which is claiming to be a natural form of retinol so it's gentler. Um, if you're pregnant, you can use it when you're pregnant, um, all that stuff. But it's supposed to be a more gentle, more natural form of retinol. Um, this was all right. It, it kind of sat on my skin a little funny. It was hard to tell if it was really working or not. Um, the texture was hard for me to figure out where I wanted to put it in my routine because it was an overnight mask. So in my mind, when I use an overnight mask, I like to put that on top of my moisturizer, kind of locks everything in and, you know, does its does its job with everything, kind of like lock it all in. But this was so thin and um, not oily, it was just really thin and the texture was kind of weird that I had to put it on before my moisturizer, let it sink in fully and then put on my moisturizer. Um, it just, it didn't fit into my routine very well. And I just, it's not my favorite one. And um, I used it up because again, I like to use things up that I've already bought because it just seems wasteful otherwise. Um, it didn't do anything bad to my skin. It's just not my favorite product. All right, and then I have some sheet masks. Let's start off with one that's always in my empties. And I have two of them this time is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating 100% Hydrogel Mask. This is one of my favorite sheet masks. Um, I talk about it every time, seriously, in empties. Um, they're super inexpensive and they're always on sale somewhere. So check around, see if they're on sale and stock up and get a few. But these are so good. I love the hydrogel. The, the serum in there is so hydrating and nice. And I just I just love these. I always have a few in stock in my in my skincare drawer just, just in case I need a little extra moisture. They're so good. I know they're always going to work and I just love these. Okay, this next mask I was just trying to get rid of because I bought it and then I did some more research on Levin and skincare and I decided I didn't 
really enjoy that ingredient as skincare, but I had this mask, so I wanted to use it up. This is the I'm Lemon Layering Mask from Tony Moly. So basically it comes apart in two parts. You have a sheet mask in here, and then you have these little like lemon slices. They look like lemon slices. Um, there's like extra little baby sheet masks that you can put wherever you need some like extra brightness or whatever. So you put those on first, and then you put the sheet mask on over it. And it just kind of gives you like an extra boost of brightness wherever. I love Tony Sh Moly sheet masks. This was a good one. Again, just the lemon wasn't quite right for me. It didn't do anything bad to my skin, but I just wanted to like use it up. I probably wouldn't buy it again just because of that ingredient in it. And it's really high up. It's like the second ingredient in there. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. I do like the idea of the layering masks, but there are other masks out there I like more. So I probably wouldn't get this one again. Okay, another sheet mask I love are these um, Ozo Bear. I like the Water Bang Hydrating Mask. They also have a illuminating one I really enjoy too. But I just love these masks. I think they work super well. It comes with like a little extra ampoule of um, serum here and you press it in and gives the sheet mask extra serum. And I just love these. The sheet masks are really nice. They feel really good. The serum in here is amazing. They're super hydrating. Um, and I just really like them. They're a good price point. They're not super expensive, but they're not like cheap like the Neutrogena ones, but they're just really good and I really enjoy the Ozo Bear ones. Um, they tend to be on sale at Ulta, so I wait again and kind of get a few when they're on sale. Really good. I love these. All right, and I also used an eye mask this past few months. This is the black eye mask. Um, I had like a pack of these from I don't even know what. I mean, these are good. They're super hydrating. They work really well. I love the jelly mask thing. Um, I don't know. I just think I like eye masks every once in a while. I don't use them that often. Just, you know, when my skin just feels super dehydrated and I just want like an extra boost of moisture everywhere, I'll put one on. Um, but they're good. This one's a good one. I don't know how much these are, so I can't speak to that because um, I don't even remember how I got them. <laughs> but they're good and I do enjoy them. All right. So that is all the skincare. Like I said, it was a bunch feels good to do this because now I can recycle. Okay, let's do all like my bath and body and hair stuff next. So let's start, I think I just have a couple of hair, so I'll do my hair things first. So the first thing I have is a shampoo. This is your Not Your Mother's Curl Talk, Curl Care Shampoo. This is a really good shampoo. I tend to buy shampoos that are like meant for curly hair, but that aren't that expensive because I don't wash my hair that often. I have really dry hair, curly hair tends to just be drier anyway. So I tend not to wash my hair that often. I also don't use like a ton of product in my hair throughout the week. You know, to get it curly, I put my initial product on and then I don't really put a lot more on throughout the week. So my hair doesn't get like build up or anything like that that easily. But this is a really good one. It definitely got everything off my hair, left my hair feeling really clean without being dry. My curls looked great when I was using it. Um, it was just a good basic shampoo for curly hair. And Not Your Mother's is so inexpensive that it's just so worth it. So this is a really good one. Um, I'm trying a different shampoo right now, but I would definitely consider going back to this one. It's just, it's a really good one, especially at its price point. Okay, and then I also have a conditioner. I'm surprised I only have one conditioner here. Usually I have a couple because I go through more conditioner than I do shampoo. Um, but I love this one. I already have a second one of it in my shower. This is the Mixed Chicks Deep Conditioner. So I love this stuff. It's really deceiving because when you pick it up, it kind of feels like it's empty. Like there's not a lot of stuff in there, but it is so good. It's this really lightweight conditioner but it's also really hydrating and creamy and feels great in your hair. I was using this for place of just like a regular conditioner during the winter. I think I'm gonna switch to a normal conditioner and kind of use this one as like a deep conditioner as well. But I love this one. It smells really good and I just really enjoy this one. Nyx Tricks is definitely not super expensive, but it's not cheap like uh, How I Met or Not Your Mother's. I almost said How I Met Your Mother because it's one of our favorite TV shows. Um, but it's really good. I really enjoy it. My hair always looks good after I use it. So definitely recommend this one. And, um, yeah, like I said, I already have another jar in my shower. So good. Okay. I have a couple body things. Let's start with a uh, shave cream that I talk about all the time. One of my favorites is the Cremo shave cream. This is in the sandalwood 
technically if you're looking for this go look in the men's section this is one of their men's scents but what i love about cremo is that that lasts forever it lasts so long because you just need a little bit because it's a concentrate so you just need a little bit and it like lathers up super super well so this will last you a long time and I also love that the men's and the women's scents are exactly the same price because it's so frustrating when you're walking through the like shave cream aisle and you see the men's stuff is so much cheaper than the women's stuff it's so frustrating but this is the same price no matter what and it just works really really well and I just really enjoy it I couldn't find any at my local exchange last time I was there so I have something else but this is definitely my favorite shave cream always go back to it and the sandalwood smells amazing some other body product or shave products I'm getting rid of um just because I never use it and I did not like this razor or the head was the Gillette Venus Comfort Glide this is the Vera Bradley razor thing um first of all I hate the gel glide things it's just so annoying I hate the gel it always just like disappears so quickly and just seems pointless. And then in general, I just don't like Venus razors. I, I use a men's razor. I use a Gillette Pro Glide or something like that. I don't know. It's the same razor my husband has. It just works really well. It works better than a woman's razor and I just really enjoy it. And this is just taking up space and I'm never going to use it. So I'm going to uh, recycle it or do whatever I can with it. But I just, I did not like this razor. Okay, I have a couple of lotions. First one, this is going to sound like a weird one. I got in a kit for a weird reason. Not going to explain. But I have um, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Massage Lotion for Stretch Marks. This was really good. It absorbed into my skin really nice. My skin felt great. Did help with my stretch marks on my legs and stuff. I don't know. I don't think so. But it felt really good. It was definitely moisturizing. It absorbed really well. And I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I don't know if it works on my stretch marks. If you are pregnant or were pregnant and have used this and it does work, let me know. I'm very curious what your experience was. Obviously, I didn't continue to use it. Maybe if I like had bought other bottles and continued to use it, I would see more results. But it's a good one and I enjoyed using it. All right, and then the lotion I have been loving and using a ton this winter is the Eucerin Intensive Repair Lotion. So when we moved to Colorado, my skin got even drier somehow. How that happened, I don't know. Well, I do know we're in a desert. It's just way drier here. So I needed a way thicker moisturizer for my body than I was using. So I got this one and at first I wasn't super sure about it because I kind of felt like thick and like didn't absorb all the way and kind of felt sticky. But honestly, now that doesn't bother me because this is so moisturizing that I will deal with the stickiness so my body is super moisturized. I mean, my skin was flaky and dry and itchy and just, I needed the extra moisture and this really helps. If I use this every day, my skin feels so soft, so moisturized, and I just love it. This also has um, lactic acid in it, so it kind of helps to exfoliate your body skin as well. It's just a really good body moisturizer. I love this. I'll probably switch away from that in the, in the summer though when it gets a little bit hotter. But for the winter, it's a really good one. All right, and then I have a couple of Dr. Teal's products, a couple of my favorites. I have their bubble bath and I have their Epsom salt, both in the lavender. I talk about these almost every empty too. They're so good. I love their Epsom salt. I love their bubble bath. It's so inexpensive. It will last you a long time. The scents are great and I just love Dr. Teal's. Um, and then I have one bath bomb from Basin that I used up. Don't remember what scent it was, but this is from White Basin. You can find White Basin on Disney properties, and that's where I got this. So it was a special Disney one. I just love bath bombs, um, and White Basin makes a good one if you want like a really fun souvenir and you love bubble baths. This is a good one because you can just like have a little Disney magic at home months later. It's just so much fun. Like this, I probably got over a year ago now, and it's just fun to have a little Disney at home. Like, um, had little Mickey heads in it. It was cute. I loved it. And they smell really good. So it was a fun one. All right. So here is all the random stuff now. So I have some stuff for your teeth, some nails, and then a couple makeup things. So I'll start with the makeup first. I just have two makeup things. The first one, I think they don't make anymore, but I could be wrong. But um, this is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I like the chill one. It was a little bit different for me than the all-nighter. It definitely helped 
with the powderiness even more than the all-nighter does. So if they still make this, I really like it, but I love their all-nighter spray too. So like I said, I don't think they make this anymore, but it's a really good one. A makeup product I do love and will probably be repurchasing soon because I just like love this eyeliner. I don't use eyeliner that often, but this is one of my favorites. This is the Clinique Quick Liner for eyes in the shade Dark Chocolate. I just love this eyeliner. It's so good. It's so creamy. It's got a little smudger on the end. I never kind of used, but um, I just really enjoy this dark chocolate shade because when I do reach for eyeliner, I tend to go for a dark brown. It just works really well with my blue eyes. Um, and like I said, this one's just super easy to use, super creamy, always looks good, and I enjoy the Clinique Quick Liner. Okay, and then I have a couple things for your teeth. First of all, I have a bottle of <clears throat> the Crest Gum and Breath Purify mouthwash. Um, so I wanted to try a new mouthwash. I usually just get like Listerine or something, but I wanted to get something specifically for my gums. They just, they look a little bit redder than they probably should. So I figured a gum detoxifier would help. And I really enjoyed this one. It was really, really good, but I couldn't find it at my exchange once again. So I switched back to Listerine. Um, but if I can find this one again, I would definitely get it. I really enjoyed using it. I noticed a, actually a noticeable difference in my gums and I really enjoyed this mouthwash and the... The uh, mint flavor was good. I really enjoyed the flavor of that one. Um, and then a toothpaste. I always talk about this toothpaste in every single empties. Again, both me and my husband use it. Is the Sensodyne Pro Namel Gentle White. This is our favorite toothpaste. So good. It works against sensitivity. It cleans your teeth really well. And it keeps my teeth nice and white. And I just really enjoy this toothpaste. Alright, last few things are for your nails. First of all, I have a couple Kiss glue on nails. I've talked about these nails a lot. I love the glue on nails and these are two of my favorite styles. This one's kind of like pink with like an ombre of glitter and these ones are just matte red. Um, I just love these glue on nails. They're my favorite. They're so easy to use. They come in a bunch of cute different styles. Um, like I said, these are two of my favorites. So really good. And I like the length of these ones. The mediums tend to be my favorite length. The longs are just a little bit too long for me because I like to be able to use my fingers and I just can't get used to long nails. If you can, great, good for you, but I cannot do it. Um, and the short ones, I like the short ones. I just, the mediums are like a better length for me. So I really enjoy these ones. And then the last thing I have is just a bottle of Cutex non-acetone nail polish remover. Cutex is one of those ones that like everyone knows that brand for nail polish remover. Um, but I, it takes me forever to go through a nail polish remover. I guess I don't paint my nails that often. I don't know. Um, but this one's a really good one. Basic, you know, good nail polish remover. All right. That is all the empties I have this month. It was a lot of stuff. Like I said, maybe I should start doing them every other month instead of every three months. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, those empties. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment to know what you always use up. If there's something you always use up, like my Neutrogena face masks or my Sensodyne, let me know what it is. I'm curious what you like love so much that you always, always have empties of it. Um, And help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal by subscribing to my channel. We would love to have you as part of our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.